He, uh, man, I that guy. I love he him murdered the heart. Him on something's burning. Him, I gotta say. Oh, him, Mark Moore Norman, and that one's blowing up. Jeffrey is on this week. He's on right now. I have to say, Jeffrey, Jim, Jim Jeffries. Oh, Jim, Jim Jeffries is fucking. Hol- fuck. great. So many great episodes, but I'll tell you the one I'm looking forward to: Tim Dillon and Whitney Cummings. Oh my god, that's gonna be great. I, you know, how I almost pass out when I laugh. Yeah, four times. Four <laughs> times. Tim Dillon. It started very casually. What are you making today, Bert? And I go, Well, I'm and and, and then Whitney, you know. Tim, if I was, if you were making meals, what would you make us? And he looks at it and he goes, "Percocet pudding, Whitney." <laughs> at his first joke, because it's got Percocets in it, which you like, and it's pudding. <laughs> and I, he was, he made, he killed the hardest I've. He's so. He's, he's the best everything. ranter. He's great. Like, right. With him, yeah. the best ranter. Like he did a rant on this podcast about the decline of the American I saw Empire. It. I just saw let it. him go. Let, yeah. You got to let him go. You it's know, one of the best rants I've ever heard. We no, the to, best rant I've ever heard in my life. I listened to it with Isla. It's incredible. Listen, and we're in the car. I'm drinking to a football game. We're listening to it, and in the and I, she, I look over. She's smiling and she's nodding. And she goes, "Who is this guy?" I said, "You've met him." She goes, "I know this guy." I go, "Yeah, he's coming to the house next week." She goes, "Can I, can I meet him again?" I said, yes. Yeah. So I'm doing the podcast with Tim, and Isla comes down. She's like, I go, hey, Tim, give Isla some life advice. And I and Tim just goes on a fucking, she's 16. Yeah. Da, 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 da. He's so fucking quick. Dude, all those guys, that generation, the Mark Norman, Tim Dillon. Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis. Have you seen the new Gillian Keyes special? Oh, my I God. I haven't. But oh, it's I'm, sitting at the, I'm sitting at Dane Cook's it's right special it's with so Leanne. It's so funny. And, it and is so funny. I bought it. I bought it on the thing. I'm sitting with Leanne, and we're watching his special before Dane's special starts, crying, laughing, and the people around me are looking over my shoulder, crying, fucking wow. laughing. He is, Shane Gillis is fucking special, man. He's, that guy. he's very, very good. He looks but special. He does look special. Yeah. A little bit. He, <laughs> he talks about that, too. I know, which is yeah. so funny. Have, have you seen the new bit he does about George Washington Museum? Oh, that's great. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, it's a great my story. God, it's a good bit. It's one of those bits where after it's over, I'm like, thank you. He did it at the Ryman. We did it. This is not happening at the Ryman. It, it crushed. The best was on Fully Loaded. We took Georgia with my oldest was uh, PA, her and her friends. And they're all pretty woke, right? Like, they're kids. You know, they do their pronouns when they, you know, whatever. No. Yeah. Well, they're kids, Joe. That's your... It's L.A. And so, but they, they've never really seen live comedy. So Shane Gillis goes on stage. And immediately I'm like, when he starts talking about Trump, I'm waiting for Georgia to just cringe. And I watch Georgia and her friend. And he goes into the George Washington thing. And the black guy comes out. And, you oh, know, yeah. and he goes, hey, hey, get back there. And Georgia and her friend are like, and they're laughing. And I go, I, I bust for them. I go, what are you doing? She goes, I, I don't, I, it's just the way he says it, Dad, it's so funny. And I don't, I know you're not supposed to laugh at this. I go, baby, it's okay. It's good by to get a end, long laugh. By the end, they were obsessed with Shane. And the, every time Shane would go on, Shane, Attell, Big J, Big J is doing fucking, fucking those, that pronoun joke about fucking Demi Lovato. Oh, yeah. And they're crying, laughing. And then oh, the whole time they just hung out with these guys. Last night, Shane Gillis is, comes up to George and her friend. And he goes, uh, you guys sneaking beers? And they're like, no. And he goes, don't fucking lie to me. I'm not your dad. She goes, no. And this is how much they like him. And they go, we're sneaking a couple beers. He goes, I won't say anything. Sits down right next to me. Your daughter's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, watching kids, wa- like w- w- young kids that are supposed to be woke, watch great comedy. This is because they love crop. the release. They don't get it. They love the release of l- laughing at something wrong. And they right. never get it. And they're like, oh, we've been missing this part. Well, you know why? It's because there's not a lot of it out there. Right. They, they're yeah. not exposed to it enough. You know, comedy, like, the idea that that is, like, that, that it's bad to laugh at things that are obviously hilarious. It's like that this person has bad intentions when they're saying these things. That's not true. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a relief. Well, it's also like an uh, unspoken agreement. Yeah, right? so, yeah, we know it's bullshit. It's you come fun. here to hear some it's wrong things. Shit. We know, we know yeah, it's fake. It's just talking shit. Yeah. I mean, that's that's one of the things that infuriated me so much about people getting mad at Louis Leak set when that that was all going down, mm. where they were saying, you know, it's oh, a workout set. Well, it, not only is not it a workout that, set, it's bit. exactly what he's always done. That part was that was the part that was great yeah. when they were like, this guy jumped. You know, he's, he's gone a, MAGA. He's gone, it's like, huh? Yeah, yeah he's gone. Pure and you bit. were a fan before? This is exactly what he, he was hasn't doing. changed his philosophy on at life all. at all. Yeah. It's it's just funny. He just says the things you're not supposed to say that are hilarious. Yeah. 
He's still Thank so God. fucking oh, funny. Oh, we saw him here at the at the Creek in the Cave. It was fucking great. Yeah. yeah. It was fucking great. People, and he's it's like free they forget now. that a fucking master. It's like, God, we're living in the presence of fucking some of the greatest people of all time at our profession. Yes. Yeah. And, Every, and the crop coming up now is fucking amazing. Yeah. There's so many good comics coming up now. Mm -hmm. There's so many good comics. When David Lucas and Tony Hinchcliffe go after go each after other each on Kill other. Tony, yeah. pretty great. I, I was I was a guest on Kill Tony the other day. I couldn't breathe. I was laughing so hard. I was just holding my side, wheezing. He's funny as shit. Too. Lucas is a yeah. bad motherfucker. Yeah. He's a and he's so good at talking shit yeah. to Tony, and Tony's so good off yeah. the cuff. Tony's the best host of a, like that kind of a show sure. that's ever existed. Yeah. Like a live. He's so good, yeah. and he's been doing it so long now. He's so popular. Polished and so tags. sharp. Yeah. Oh my god. This is like a good time for comedy, man. That's why I'm so pumped to open up my club. Oh, I'm so excited. You got a date? Well, we were in the middle of it right now. Carrie Mitchell just sent me a photo of the new bar in the middle of the construction. It looks oh, fucking great. Don't the place show it looks to me. Amazing. Don't show it to me. Oh, my dick will get hard. Oh, you <laughs> will. A bar? The place yeah. looks amazing. Yeah, I've yeah. seen. Yeah, it looks great. This you is, seen it, Bert? Uh, I came out for no. the first week. That's the bar. Oh, you're definitely coming out for the opening week, brother. That's uh, Carrie at the bar. Oh, it's being built right now. That's Mitzi's. Do do uh, opening week like when do you don't know? When, no we don't anything. know, but it'll probably know. be somewhere around January. Give us a lot do of notice. January. I'm going to be in Europe all January. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait for you. I don't when are you doing fuck. Europe? Well, I'm, we're going to have some soft April. openings anyway. April. We're going to have some. I think I'm going gonna, to April too. Yeah. Oh, maybe we'll fucking gonna, where are you guys meet going? up somewhere. That'd be.